Oh, no, no, can you believe there's gonna be a Constantine too? No, I believe that my shit turns purple and smells like rainbow sherbet. That's right. It's your main man, Z, and Noob Noob here, and we're gonna talk a little bit about a sequel to Constantine? He's back. Are you kidding me? Keanu. Keanu? Big man Keanu. The biggest of men is back. You better have a beard in this one, though. The man doesn't doesn't look right without a beard. And well, when hair. he was younger, he looked he looked. I basically okay. just want him to be John Wick, but in Constantine. <laughs> John Wick, but in John Constantine. Oh, wait, it's the same name. It is the same thing. Shit. He's always playing a man named John. Yeah. Uh, interesting. They're bringing back Keanu Reeves, Francis Loren to unite with Akiva Goldsmith and Bad Robot J.J. Abrams. No! That's not good. Nobody wants J.J. Abrams to touch anything, including HBO Max that canceled his giant reboot show. I feel like I know the name Akiva Goldsmith from something. I don't. Akiva, no. I thought that was maybe the Lonely Island guy, but maybe. Maybe. Maybe it is? Nah. Nah. Akiva Goldsmith. I know one of the Lonely Island people have a, has a stupid name. but Oh, no. He's responsible for Strange New Worlds. And Star Trek. He's destroyed Star Trek. It's definitely not that guy, then. <laughs> no. Weed Road Pictures. Sounds like somebody's been smoking a lot of weed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Apparently, I Am Legend is a thing, too. Okay. Well, anyway, Constantine 2... They got Keanu Reeves back, the even key though question everyone's asking, obviously. Will he have blonde hair? Is Shia back? Shia is dead. Spoiler alert from Constantine One. Wait, he died in Constantine? Yeah. No, we you didn't. know that movie came out 17 years ago. Oh, he 100. percent He did. Did he really? Yeah, he died. He did. I don't remember that. 100. percent He's dead. I just watched it. And you it's see on him die. HBO Max. You right see now? him die. 100. percent Yes. Yeah, uh, Gabriel, played by not Hillary Swank, but the other chick who Tilda Swinton, she like hurls him up and down and smashes him against the walls and ceilings because he's protecting that chick who's really attractive. Who is in this? <laughs> who's the girl who's in this? I don't remember. Oh my god, Rachel Wise. Yeah, yeah. that chick. She's awesome. From the Mummy. From the Mummy. She could be my mummy. She great. So, yeah. So he really dies? Yeah, he does. Doesn't Constantine resurrect people all the time? That's fine. Bring him back. He resurrects himself. Bring him back. Not necessarily everybody else. Bring back Shia. <laughs> people probably forgot he was in this. I'm protesting until Shia's back. It opened 17 years ago. It grossed over $200 million. In fact, Gavin Rosdale from the band Bush was also in it. I didn't necessarily like his character that much, but yeah, it's, it's I'm excited. I'm in. I like yeah. it. The only thing is he's not real accurate to the actual John Constantine, but he's so cool. Like Keanu Reeves is so cool as this character. You can't go wrong. I mean, the, the dude, Matt Ryan, who played John Constantine in the CW verse was actually he's closer. Pretty, he was a pretty good Constantine. He's way closer than the comic book. The comic book Constantine is British with blonde hair and, Smarmy cigarette smoking dude. I this one is just Keanu Reeves. It's just Keanu Reeves being badass. I I really love the guy who played the devil too in the original Constantine. He was great. Shit, who he was a dude from Armageddon? Character actor, can't remember who he is. Plays the Russian in uh, Armageddon. Mm. Been around forever. He was also just in the, the Daylight movie that we watched, Daybreak. Oh, with yeah, Jamie yeah. Fox. Uh huh. Yeah, he's like a character actor. Always plays like a Russian yeah, he's guy. Good. Yeah, I like him. He was in Prison Break. I think he was in Snatch, too. He's in a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's a good, good actor. I really like him. He always as the plays devil. a villain. Kind of. Usually. Or like insane person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good. So we'll see. I mean, good for Keanu. I'm into it. I'll watch it. The only thing I'm a little worried about is J.J. Abrams shouldn't t- have his smelly hands on anything. I don't necessarily know if this is going to do well, though, because why does anyone want this? Dude, people will watch anything Keanu Reeves is in. John Wick does, like, what is John Wick? Is John Wick is awesome. They're going to, oh, but what about the Anna de Armas uh, ballerina? They need more of that. It's going to be good. She proved herself. She proved her, her action chops in Gray Man. 
and uh, the best scene of James Bond. Correct. Correct. Honestly, if we could just get that scene on loop. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm basically in anything Keanu Reeves wants to do. I'm in. No, I think it'll be watchable. I don't know. Maybe it'll be an HBO Max movie, not a real theatrical release. No, I don't think they're doing any more movies to HBO Max. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Well, shit. It's got to make money. I mean, it, I remember when it came out, it wasn't like a huge hit came out in 2005 it's like a, kind of a cult movie it's kind of a cult movie because people are like there's a little bit like they like the depiction of john constantine but they don't they're like it's not comic book accurate but it's a good interpretation and there's like a lot of like the cgi is a little wonky but overall i think the movie holds up i did just recently see it so just make it john wickenstein it's kind of like john wick john wickenstein yeah. wears a yarmulke goes <laughs> exercises demons john wickenstein and I'll goes take to the it. temple to pray. I he pray he's, the gay away. He's I think he's Catholic in this. I'm it's, pretty it's, sure the whole thing about yeah, Constantine's religious. Yeah, well, religious in the sense that he believes in God and the devil, but he doesn't like worship either of them. No, he just tries to kill them. And he just tries to cut deals with everybody. It's really all he does. He's just a deal maker, deal or no deal. Anyway, I think uh, it sounds good. So we're in. Um, be sure to catch our full length audio podcast you can catch that on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify all those great places more you can catch our full length audio and visual live stream is on YouTube we have links to all of our stories that we cover it's a great podcast goes on for a little while you can join the chat have some fun there and then be sure to catch our shorts we have a great uh, little sequence of things called 10 second reviews where we review something in 10 seconds and uh, it's full of a lot of yucks, a lot of ha-has, ho, 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 and some of our other comedy stuff. So be sure to check all that more, because if you do not like and subscribe, Noob Noob may do this. They'll freeze a bag of Lucky Charms and take it with a ladle and beat the lever living piss out of you. You better fucking subscribe or I'm going to be majorly upset. I'm going to go get Conor McGregor to fuck your woman, and then I'll fuck her too. Oh my god, what if you go get to me, ma? I don't want you to touch me, ma. <laughs> Do not touch me, ma. Anyway, from all of us here at Tire Reviews, we'll kill you. Tire you to home. We're on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs>